Hi, this is Chad Adams with Skelton Key in St. Louis, Missouri, and I've been meaning to put this video out for a while, but the busy schedule just made that impossible almost. But I saw a couple things at DevCon that made me want to come back and touch on this and throw it out there to the community. So we're going to talk today about creating a picker without using a portal, and so um, let's take a closer look. So instead of using a portal, we're going to use a list view, and some of the reasons why we might want to use a list view include the fact that we can sort it. Um, however we want without having a whole bunch of extra table occurrences, but also we can use FileMaker's uh, subsummaries to group it as well. Let's take a look at what that might look like. So if I'm looking um, for a group of names here, and I'll type in Smith, and then I can sort this if I want to as a part of my process and have the names grouped. And so, you know, list views offer us quite a few different um, options and what we're going to look at are some of the things to keep in mind when using a list view and using the on exit um, script trigger, the on modify script trigger, or the on keystroke script trigger. I'll make this file available with this video so you can download it, tear it apart, see what I'm doing, and uh, put the, the things you find here into your own solutions. The things I wanted to point out though were that whether you're using on exit, on modify, or on keystroke, there's, there's things to keep in mind. So let's take a look. The on exit process is going to work whenever you leave the field. So for example, if I were to type in Peter, I'm not going to get the result until I tab out. Now whenever I tab out of the field, it leaves the field for me, and it's important when using on exit to think about um, manipulating where the cursor is at, because if you're not careful and you put the cursor back into the field here, then whenever you click to select somebody, that exits the field before it clicks the button, and you can get into this kind of self-looping situation where you're running the search um, instead of clicking on the person that you want to choose. The on modify script step is going to update as I modify the field, so in this case as I type Peter, you can see the list modifies or adjusts with me. Um, the thing to watch out for with on modify is that any character is allowed because the modify doesn't happen or the script doesn't run until after you've modified the field. And so, for example, if I type in a dollar sign here, then that is invalid for my search and everything goes away. Um, let's take a look at a way to control that with on keystroke. The on keystroke um, script trigger is going to allow me to capture for items that I type into the field. So, for example, I could type Peter again. And I could even type my dollar sign, which I'm typing right now, but the system is not taking the dollar sign because my script is capturing for that and omitting it from uh, the value characters that I can type. And so that's totally in your control as the developer and something you can look at. I hope you found this useful. Um, please consider using a uh, non-portal picker the next time you need a picker in your solution. And if you have any questions, please email me at chad.adams at skeletonkey.com. And feel free to download this file and take a look at it yourself. Thank you so much.